Hey guys, this is Harpstar123 here, and today I'm doing a tutorial on BYM Roblox. So today's tutorial will be on a uh, a rover. So I'm not sure, you can call this either a Mars rover, or I don't know, a land rover or something. But I will demonstrate how it works. So I recommend you join a not very laggy server, as I have done. Okay. Remove the part underneath. Unanchor this. You you'll see that it goes a bit wacko. Um, there we go. So as you can see, perfect. You're able to follow yourself. And I'm actually going to open once you uh, drag it. Garage. Open door. I will tell you guys this now, this is very similar to the um, drone. Whoa. It does go a little bit laggy, like I said. Because, of course, the thruster is dependent on the turn. Um, that is the only one unfortunate part about it, but... Um, I haven't been able to come up with something else yet. So I will. So it seems to only do that when its turning is odd. There we go. There, I actually brought it back. Huh. And you could control this as a drone if you wanted to. It works surprisingly well. <laughs> okay, so. I will reload my Mars rover and we will get right into it. So I'm just going to probably grab parts over here. So what you're going to first want to get is, of course, your delete part. Just place it there. Color it however you want to color it. And there you go. Okay. Next step, grab one of these. You're going to want to make that was completely unintended. Okay. So you're going to want to make, um, well, I'm, of course, going to make it metal. Because metal seems to work because it's heavier. And you're going to want to change your increments to 0.25 for this entire tutorial. Find a good distance that suits you. Move it to where you want it to be, and then change this to 0.25 as well. I'm just, you know, changing how much I want my distance to be, that sort of a thing. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Next thing, just grab one of the parts. This is for design. You can change up your design depending on what you want. But I'm just going to do this very simple design that I came up with. So unfortunately, this is not for terrain. I tried to make it terrain, but uh, because of its size, it wouldn't allow it. Next, just take a wedge. And you guys can copy what I'm doing here. If um, if you don't want to, if you're just beginning this and you haven't done it uh, before, there we go. So this is, like I said before, just for design. Um, this is the framework. I'm going to add little wheels, um, make it just generally look a lot better. There we go. And this is going to be the most time consuming part. Thankfully. There we go. So I'll actually put all of these wedges onto the end of these bricks because that's going to be a recurring theme.
almost got that one. There we go. So, I'm nearly there to getting the theme done. And then once we do that, we'll build a simple wedge on each one in the tires. And this is really going to be one of the most unnecessary parts. There we go. Okay. So that is done. Now grab one of these uh, 0.5 by 0.5 wedges, like so. Uh, that is just strictly for this design. Um, but grab it. Make sure the face is on the outside here. You're going to want to make sure that that is exactly as I have it if you're doing this design. There we go. Now, these do. Um, I'll actually just put the hinges in for you. Go to classic, hinge, and then just place your hinges. Actually, I didn't even place hinges, so completely ignore what I just said. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to make it weld so it sticks. There. These are literally just a cylinder here, so I'm, I just uh, sized it however I felt. Um, I'll actually have to bring this up. There we go. One, two. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. There we go. Bring this one up it across. That way it gets it pretty much in the middle. And you don't even have to have wheels. You could literally just have these, I don't know, those little blocks sticking out. You could have whatever you want. Um, like I said, it's just, this is what I want to go with. Okay, so once you have your design, um, here's where the hinging, and this is where most of the detail comes in. So you're going to want one of these. Grab a part. Scale it so it fits over it. There. So make sure it's like that. Okay. So, yeah, just grab one of these parts. Bring it to about there. That looks good. Well, did I bring it further? No, I brought it to that exact point. Okay, so that's good. This rover is going to be a bit smaller than my last one, but it really, the size doesn't matter in this case. As long as, of course, you're, sp you're, you're able to fit everything. So I have to add a hinge on the end of this piece. Next you want to want to grab a camera. And this does not use any VIP if you guys were wondering. So that's pretty cool. There we go. So just stick it right through the camera. I did the same over here if you wanted to see. And we are, of course, are going to keybind everything later. You're going to want a full. You could also do strafe and angle. It doesn't matter. Uh, I recommend that you do full, though, because, I don't know, the camera shots just look so much better. Scale it as f pretty much as far down as you want. I recommend that uh, you keep it just on this top of this surface, like I did here. There we go. And... So that is basically the camera system done. There's only two more components. We just need the thruster and the stabilizer. Okay. So how fast does 1K go? I'll, I'll try it. And if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll copy the other one. And the other one is just a 5K, but the 5K seemed a little fast. 
So I'll try 1k. I don't know though. Okay, make sure it's metal. That's about as much as I want to do to it right now. There we go. Bring it to the point you want it to go. There we go. Scale it however far you want. Classic. Um, no outline right on the back here. And then the last thing that we're going to want to do is take this part, uh, do whatever you want to it. And of course, remember it is a stabilizer. That is important. Scale it down to some size that you feel comfortable with. And for this design, I am going to stick it just right underneath here. Now, before anything changes, I'm going to save my Mars Rover, is what I called it. Um, so now I've got two of them. And here's where I'm going to keybind stuff. So you can already see I've keybinded things. Um, I did not keybind the stabilizer, though. So I'll have to choose new ones. I guess I'll make Q the thruster. Um, R the aim. Did I use R aim part? That's it. Perfect. And what will be for camera? How about is F available? Yeah, F's available. I'll use F for, I don't know, like film or something. So turn off everything and that's it your rover is done I of course styled mine up with like wedges and stuff um, I'll you know what I'll just do that real quick just so you can see I don't have something like hiding or anything and if you follow this tutorial correctly it will uh, work for you there that is the entire thing and I am going to save my Mars Rover save and unanchor my parts delete this five and it's our aim part right yeah it's there and as you can see even without my camera, it's already traveling the distance. But what you have to do is you have to click your button or tap your uh, iPad or whatever you're using and hold your finger on that so that it will follow. And thankfully, because I added the stabilizer, it doesn't like move the entire mech. But as you can see, if you move the camera enough, it shakes this around, and that is when you have your thruster enabled it kinda makes it go wacko so I will enter camera mode and as you can see my camera follows it perfectly okay now what was it it was Q is my thruster dang it ah yeah so um let me reload this and I will show you just because you guys might not believe me I wanna make sure that you guys know that it works this is a five um, 5k like I'll even show you, you can't change the color because it won't work and as you can see it's that pale green it's the same over here I just want you guys to know that it does um, it is the exact same thing. I'll actually um, change the keybind for this one. Edit keybind. What was my last keybind? It was uh, Q. Let's change this. There we go. Back to control. There. So I'll save it. And there we go. 
So unfortunately 5k is a little too fast, but 1k doesn't even work, so... And you can't change the speed. Well, I could do a conveyor. You know what, I'll actually try that. Something new. You guys have already seen this design, so that's good. But I think... Mm, there we go. I'll, I actually really want to try a uh, conveyor. So we'll do something with like low speed. Yeah, that'll work. Bring it over, bring it back, and then we'll make Q the conveyor. Please don't lag me. There we go. Now save. I'm just testing this out, you guys. Just trying to see if this will work. Now, on anchor, five, and it's R, right? Yeah, it's perfect. F camera, and Q conveyor. Yes, it works. Partially. It's really laggy. Okay, so I haven't tried this yet. Um, it could be lag from the server. No, it's not lag from the server. So I would not recommend you use the uh, conveyor unless you have a different design, I guess, that allows it. Yeah, mine's just lagging out. Yeah, okay, so that one's all. Well, it's kind of moving forward. But. As you just saw, you guys, I did just now make the rover. Yeah, so that is this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed uh, this tutorial, uh, you guys want some more uh, cool uh, technical ones like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and, yeah, send me feedback. I'd love to know what you guys think about it, if you guys have any other ideas for me and that sort of a thing so yeah I'll see you all next time